Nelly, you were there when that bottom of the ninth was unfolding. Yankees went in feeling good, up by two runs. What was the vibe there as things started to change? Well, I thought they were going to go with Peralta and just leave him out there. He got bled to death in those two little hits. And I said, okay, he's the guy that probably has the most experience and one of the guys that probably could ha handle the ninth. You, you know, one thing analytics doesn't measure is this, the in between the ears, you know, the brain. The last three outs of the ball game are the toughest. I mean, I hear you guys talking about, oh, the wise got pitching in high leverage situations in the sixth and the seventh. You got to go into these games and say, who can handle the ninth inning? Oh, we got to figure out maybe maybe Clark Schmidt is easier or can handle the sixth or seventh a little bit easier than he can in the ninth inning you talked about the pitch the one that uh, Gonzalez hit up the middle you got to expand the zone a little bit more I didn't have a problem with the slider expand it more you can't miss down you got to have Higgy set up on the outside part of the plate and Evo almost in the left-handed batter's box and expand his own miss away if you because this is a young kid in Gonzalez he would have swung and probably swung and missed at that pitch it caught too much of the plate you got to base it up the middle it is a gut wrenching loss Jeff, you were a guy who made a very nice living pitching out of the bullpen, and we were talking here about Aaron Boone, the manager, knowing if Clay Holmes was available. Every reliever that I've ever played with, they would have a conversation with the pitching coach before the game, I feel good or I'm down. Do you think Aaron Boone knew before the game that Clay Holmes was down? Well, I probably knew before the game that he was down. You know, I didn't know that he was down. I mean, he pitched two-thirds of an inning yesterday. You figured, okay, he's at least got an inning today, and he's going to be your closer. You got to know that. And if, if that was the case, if he knew before the game, then you got to construct those middle innings a little bit better. You talk about Lawiska. He's the one that could probably handle a little bit more of a high-leverage situation in, those, in that eighth and ninth inning. Maybe get the last three outs. Maybe put Clark Schmidt or, or extend Trevino a little bit more in those middle innings like I mentioned those last three outs you know we had guys our pitching coach never came up to ask ask us if we were okay we just pitched it wasn't hey you know I'm not feeling too well this is the postseason you're asked to do a little bit more than what you're able to do in the regular season there's no tomorrow in games like this and especially in a place like Cleveland it's a tough place for a visiting team to come in and play Jeff, that ninth inning embodied what the Guardians have done all season with those five hits. What would your approach as a pitcher have been against a team like this that is constantly putting the ball in play and doesn't have as much swing and miss? Well, the one thing you got to go in is guys that foul foul pitches off you have to come inside and you have to get them off the plate for a pitcher you got to know okay where am I going to get these outs where is my spot on the plate that I want to try to get these guys to swing a miss I got to own one side how do I get to that side if you're constantly away and all you see is the Cleveland hitters fouling stuff off fouling stuff off well I got to go in I got to get them off the plate I got to make them aware of the inside pitch that opens up the outside then you're not going to see a lot of foul balls you're not going to see a lot of five six seven eight pitch at bats you're going to cut down some of those those at bats you might get some swings and misses you might get some weak ground balls because then all of a sudden becomes an uncomfortable ab these guys all season have had comfortable at bats one of the reason why they're such a good contact hitting team now, Jeff, you are part of one of the most beautifully constructed bullpens that won four championships for the Yankees. You knew that Mo was at the end, you and Stanton, and Ramiro Mendoza and Graham, well, everybody had their roles. Uh, the, the difficulty I see in the Yankees trying to win a championship this year, no one seems to have a defined role, and they're trying to find lanes which change from game to game. How tough is it to win games like this, Jeff? Well, it is tough because when you have guys and all of a sudden the phone rings and you have all eight guys looking over to Harkey, Mike Harkey, and saying, okay, is it going to be me? It's tough. But the thing of it is, is you don't have that ninth inning guy. You, Michael, you just mentioned no Chapman, no Britton, no King, no Chad Green, you've, and Marinaccio, the middle guys. Those guys are gone. So you've got to try to figure something out, and you've got to come up with a little game plan and say, okay, if Loiza is going to be high leverage situation, I can't be using him in the sixth and seventh. I can eat him at the end of the game. That's where he can handle those outs. He's got the mentality probably to handle the eighth inning and the ninth inning. I'm going to have to use maybe a, a Trevino or maybe a Clark Smith in those middle innings to try to handle those outs. If it doesn't work out, 
that's fine. You know, I understand, okay, hey, maybe that was the time of the game that was crucial and I needed to get through that. But you have to think, what am I going to do at the end? The Yankees only had five hits. You know, they had three home runs, and they were big home runs, yes. But they only had five hits. You knew, the, the, I was going to say the Indians, the Guardians were going to wind up putting something together. But you needed those last three outs. Who could handle the last three outs? And maybe they went with the wrong guys. I mean, if you were not going to pick pitch Clark Smith in the 10th inning yesterday, why would you go with him in the ninth inning today? 